Fentanyl has become an explosive controversy over whether it's worth producing. The government has pushed it on the market with the hope that one alternative to get America off its addiction to foreign oil. There have been no major issues reported by automobile engines, but it is doing a number on another part of the industry. We get the story from WSFA 12 News reporter Brian Henry. You see the label slapped on a lot of pumps. Gasoline contains up to 10% ethanol, an alternative fuel sparking big-time problems for those with gas engines, light weed eaters, and lawnmowers. Bruce Holding owns CTE Outdoor Power. Fuel lines that run from the fuel tank to the carburetor, the little primer bubble that's on the carburetors, the ethanol just eats those things up. Bruce says he's done more repair jobs here in the last two years than he has in the last 10. And they bring it back to us, and we have to say, you know, i got to charge you for this. And they're like, man, I just bought it 60 days right. ago. Well, unfortunately, the manufacturers don't warranty against fuel contamination. Ethanol is supposed to be a cleaner biofuel produced primarily from corn. You know, if you have the government pushing that. One of the major suppliers of ethanol in the river region acknowledges ethanol is damaging the internal structure of a small engine but says this is out of her hands. And we can't purchase fuel without ethanol in it. We're left with um, no alternative. There is a solution, though. Demery may be among the few with straight gasoline, no ethanol for her customers. Back at CTE, Bruce Holding has products to counteract the effects of ethanol. By his own admission, they're pricey on the front end, but may be worth it in the long run. When you consider his average repair job ranges from $50 to $150. But it sure beats having to come back and pay a repair bill and buy a carburetor and all the other parts. According to one local veteran mechanic, he hasn't seen any damaging effects of ethanol on automobile engines, except for lower miles per gallon. But for the small engines, it's a different story, a reportedly cleaner fuel leaving behind a dirty problem. Brian Henry, WSFA 12 News. Martha Dimery, by the way, says they own and operate seven stations in the River Region and have gasoline available with no ethanol.